I'm in Silver Spring where county officials kicked off the African Heritage Month. Montgomery County was the first in the nation to proclaim September as African Heritage Month. This event had a little of everything. The Sierra Leone Fly Girls danced, these officials honored community leaders, and residents celebrated African cuisine, heritage, and culture. Since 2008, we've been celebrating uh, African Heritage Month here in Montgomery County. And African Heritage Month is really recognizing uh, the contributions, but also the heritage of all people of African descent, but the contributions specifically of the uh, continental Africans. So it's been a great engagement, uh, engaging tool for the Office of Community Partnerships where I work, um, because many now come not as you know, based on their country of origin, but they come in as Africans, and as a result of that, there's been more unifying and working with not only the African community, but other communities as well. The importance of it is that it showcases why September should be African Heritage Month. It shows the rich culture, um, the leadership that we have here in the county, the African leadership, and the many community um, groups that are involved, the different cultures, because it's a whole continent. The event was hosted by members of the African Affairs Advisory Group, and local leaders noted that advisory groups are essential for their office to work well with the community. They've been successful. The challenge now to expand their success to broad areas of the more diverse community, especially those who are more recent arrivals here in the United States. It's a two-way process, you know, it's, it's not just on one group, you know, everybody has to be willing to engage. There's more. On September 27th, the African Affairs Advisory Group invites everyone to celebrate African culture at the Pan African Culture Festival at the Veterans Plaza in Silver Spring. For MyMC Media, I'm Alini Barrows.